All over the world, a mystery presence stalks the aisles of our favorite food stores. It watches as we pass. It beckons us. Silent, it calls to us. Unsuspecting, we turn towards it. Unknowing, we reach out. Contact is made and conquest. And the nature of this creature? Its home? Its power? Its name? Its home is the chiller cabinet. Its power, assessed on an annual basis by competent authorities, is $13 billion. And its name is Dean Foods. Samuel E. Dean started the business by bottling fresh milk. And in the 1920s and 30s, he was just one of thousands of American milk bottlers doing exactly the same thing. What he needed to do was develop his product range. He did. In 1925, he bought the Pecatonica Marketing Company, changed the company name two years later, bought almost everything else worth buying in the Illinois milk business, and changed the company name again. One after another, the food acquisitions came thick and fast. And in the meantime, Sam Dean bought the rest of Illinois and changed the company name again. And Dean Foods just kept rolling until, in 1961, came a truly major watershed when Dean Milk Company, the last new name, completed its first public offering of common stock. Two years later, what do you think? Dean Milk Company changed its name. At last, Dean Foods, or nearly. And here, in 1993, Suiza enters the picture. This unknown Puerto Rican dairy, bought out by a couple of entrepreneurial American Sam Dean lookalikes who are also fond of milk, made a bigger impact on US dairy than the rock that killed the dinosaurs. By the end of the decade, it had become the nation's largest dairy processor and its biggest distributor. And by 2001, eight years, it was ready for the big one. It acquired Dean Foods for 1.3 billion. And what do you think happened next? You don't know? Haven't you been paying attention? It changed its name to Dean Foods Company. In a nutshell, that's how the beast in the chiller was born. And it's a many-headed beast. Milk, dairy in general, pickles, dips, dressings, packaged foods. Well, just take a look in the cabinet. Inside lurks a creature that has come to dominate the world in less than a century. And if you think it's a complicated story, or nutshell houses what is nowadays known as a giga kernel, don't despair. Because you can read all about it in FMCG, The Power of Fast-Moving Consumer Goods, the brand new book on global FMCG companies who like changing their names, and others, by Greg Thane and John Bradley. FMCG, The Power of Fast-Moving Consumer Goods, by Greg Thane and John Bradley. A comprehensive history of the world's top FMCGs. A must-buy for anyone in or studying the trillion-dollar world of FMCG. Available now on Amazon, Barnes & Noble, Kindle, Abe Books and other leading online bookstores.